Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So today I am going to be planting onion. So I already have some bunching onion along the side here. And along that side I have some bunching onion as well that I just planted recently. And here is all radish. So I've got a little space here that I think is perfect for planting some regular onions. So I've got a red Crioli onion and the Texas Super Sweet. Now I did plant some Texas Super Sweet over here right there along that row and it's doing well but I'm kind of doing a little test here to see which is going to grow better in my area. I have a feeling the Texas Super Sweet again the name because I'm in Texas but we'll see if this grows too. I do love red onions so it's kind of a test to see which one's going to grow bigger which one's going to grow faster. So that's what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and space this out. So, so when planting you always want to look and it says here you want three to five inch spacing. And here, same thing. Oh, well, it's not the same, it's four to six inch. So I'm gonna say five inch is good between the rows. Let's call it six inch. I've got a little six inch ruler here. And we're just gonna measure. Now I can go pretty darn close to these. These are some uh, radishes and they're gonna be picked in probably, probably even before these sprout um, or pretty soon after so I can get really close and so I want to stay far away from this because these are going to go um, for a while uh, so we can probably do a good we'll do like four inches we'll start start one row here I can let's see we're going to do the the smaller of the two red creole we can start it right there we'll put a little marker to let us know where we're going to place it and then we can put the other marker at least six inches away. Make sure that we've got the six inch spacing. And that'll give enough room, I think. In fact, we could probably get another row right here. So I might grab, I've got another onion type. I'm gonna grab another onion type and put a row right there. Okay, so then the other one I'm gonna plant is this candy hybrid onion. Now, one thing about onions is you've got day onions, uh, long day and short day onions. And that's something that you're gonna wanna look at. I live in the south, far south, um, very end of Texas down here, um, close to San Antonio area. And so I need a short day, what's called a short day. Now this is actually not, it's a neutral day. So that means it kind of grows in between the long and short day. Um, there's a I don't know exactly the, the line. I want to say a 33 something line. I don't know, but um, I'll, I'll link in the description section to like a, a website that tells you, you know, what to grow in your area. It'll give you a kind of, there's a line um, of the Southern or Northern kind of area. And so it'll, it'll help you kind of understand. But this one is a much smaller onion. So it says three to four inch spacing. So it'll be probably about the same size as this red but maybe even a little smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and plant that. I still wanna give quite a bit of room. So we've got six inches, at least from the other onion. And it's okay to be real close because these are coming out before this will even probably sprout. So let's go ahead and make some trenches and we'll sprinkle in the, the seed. So real simple, I just basically, I'm making a trench. It doesn't have to be a very deep trench. And we are gonna try to make it as straight as possible. By the way, I didn't mention this. Every time I put down a marker, I always put the spacing. So I'll give the name of the onion or whatever I'm growing. In this case, the red Creole, Creole or whatever, however you pronounce that. And I put here three to five inch spacing. So I will know when I'm going to thin this, how, how much spacing apart they need to be. So I'm not having to go and look at the packet again. All right, so then we're gonna We'll just go ahead and make all the all the trenches right along. There we go. We've got the trenches. I'm gonna start with the candy. Oh, there's not very many. I'm gonna be really careful with these seeds. So I'm actually usually I over plant, but I think this time with this one. I'm going to be really careful how many seeds I'm putting in because I just don't have very many in the packet. So then, simple, we just cover it back over. Now, 
We're doing the Texas Super Sweet. We'll do that right in the center. You know what? I can overplant this one because this one came with a bunch of seeds. I've got enough for next year as well. I can be a little more liberal with my planting here. Waste not, what not though. Why overdo it? Put some of these back. I really got some for next year, so. And again, quite a bit. You know, a lot of times with those hybrid type seeds that you get, they come with a lot less. So there was a hybrid tomato I got that came with 10 seeds. That was it. I mean, I told you on the, when you bought it, it was a packet of 10 seeds, but a lot of the hybrids, they, the way the hybrid is, they're not naturally producing. They have to kind of do something funky. So I guess the seeds are a little more precious. All right, we are going to cover it back over and we are done. All right, so as you can see here, I planted those on October 28th. And we'll come back and see how they sprouted. And always give it a nice water right when you plant. Even if, I mean, this morning it was raining, so it doesn't need a lot, but it helps kind of kickstart those seeds. Check it out, guys. We have some growth on our onions. So this is the Texas onion. We've also got a couple on this candy onion. And I see one, two, two, uh, coming forth on this red Creole onion. As you can see here, it is November 6th. Hopefully it'll focus. But it is November 6th. It took a little while. Onion always takes a while to come up. I'll bring you guys back in a few days once these all pop up and we'll see how they go. Well, check it out, guys. So most of them have come up in the rows. Pretty happy with that. Got a weed there. But yeah, every single one has popped up. We'll see how they grow. And as you can see, it's November 10th. So not too long before they popped up, but they do take a while. There we go. There's a planting of some onions. I will bring you guys along in some future videos and show you the progress of how these onions go. And also, in the next couple days, I'll be releasing a video of me harvesting, I know for a fact, these French breakfast radishes. And I'll probably get some of these uh, baby bell, or cherry bell, sorry. They're called cherry bell uh, radishes. They're all doing really well, and they're just growing like weeds. So check back in a couple days for that video. And just so you know, in every single one of my videos, I link in the description section to some of the products I use. For instance, these raised beds. I've even done videos on me installing and putting together these raised beds. They're awesome. Some of the fertilizer I use and whatnot, I will link down below. Stuff that i found works the best for me. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.